All right, so chapter three, Mrs. Kimmelfarber's problem. There was silence in the room for about two seconds. Then there was a riot. All the girls began to giggle. The boys chortled and chuckled and laughed right out loud. Henry turned red and Mrs. Kimmelfarber, who did not appreciate the humor, uh, humor of it all, turned white. She wrapped her ruler against the desk and shouted for silence. Henry Green, she said, what is the meaning? Little brown spots all over, said Henry. I was looking at my arm and I have these little brown spots all over, interrupted Miss Kimmelfarber. I heard you quite clearly. But you see, Mrs. Kimmelfarber, I didn't have them all my life. I didn't even have them this morning. But now, I know, Mrs. Kimmelfarber sighed. Now you have them all over. I'd better have a look at them. Taking Henry's arm, she led him to the window. Hmm, she said as she peered at his arm. Looks like freckles to me. No, ma'am, said Henry. It just can't be. Why not, said Miss Kimmelfarber. Because I have clear and delicate skin like my mother. Is that so? Mrs. Kimmelfarber said. And who told you that? Pray tell. My father. Ah, said Miss Kimmelfarber, exactly. Now you are sure you didn't observe this phenomenon before this morning? If that means did I see them, said Henry. No, I didn't. Well then, she said, you Henry Green stand right where you are. In class, she said, turning to face the room. You will continue to look at your books until I return. In perfect silence, she added as she went out into the hall. Henry stood as told while the class looked at him. Mrs. Kimmelfarber walked the few steps down the hall to Mr. Pangelo's room. She looked at the doorway and waited until Mr. Pangelo's glanced in her direction. Catching his eye, she waved him out into the hallway. Listen, Phil, she began earnestly. I want you to take a look at this kid. For heaven's sakes, Dolores, said Mr. Pangloss, I'm right in the middle of America's best Fucci. Who has little brown spots all over his arms? Little brown spots? You got me out here for little brown spots? I thought maybe measles. Oh, no, said Mr. Pangloss. Chicken pox? Hmm, said Mr. Pangloss. I better take a look. The two of them turned Henry to the light near the window, right in the corner where the potted plants were growing on the window ledge. Mr. Pangloss poked and prodded and even took his eyeglasses out of his pocket and put them on. Freckles, he said finally, just freckles. Are you sure? Mr. Pangloss's round nose twitched and he sniffed the air. He ate chocolate, he said. Have you brought the chocolate milk up upstairs already? Forget the milk, she cried. Look, now he has them on his face. Oh, no, said Henry. Oh, yes, said Mrs. Kimmelfarber. Oh, my, said Mr. Pangloss. And they weren't there before? No, two minutes ago, that boy's face was as clear as day. And now, Henry felt as if his heart were about to drop into his shoes. He swallowed hard and stared at the two teachers who were staring at his face. Little brown spots all over said Mrs. Kimmelfarber, and I see more of them coming out even as we speak. A tear, just one, welled up in Henry's right eye and began to trickle down his cheek, running slowly in and out of the little brown spots. All right, chapter four, tomorrow.